What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Assassination Classroom. Today we are doing episodes 13 and 14 of season one. First one is called Talent Time. Second one is called Vision Time. Really enjoying that whole time aspect. But uh, last episode was the baseball Sugino themed one again with Shindo, all that. And I do like how a recurring antagonist for us is the principal um gakuho asano he's a very love his voice actor he's very intimidating very smart as well very passionate about his evilness so with that being said let's find out how we're going to assassinate koro and get better as students i'm very excited hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts in those comments down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell check out that patreon for early access or full length up to four episodes or one week ahead Let's hop right on into this assassination classroom episode 13 talent time let's do it okay starting off with some training fourth month we're getting a little student recap as well as updates on their progress when they work as a pair they hit a lot more that's awesome shouts out the girls of the class <laughs> okay, Cora, we're relaxed. <laughs> He's so funny. Is that? I was about to say, that has to be Nagisa, right? I swear, they've been showing him having some really, like, incredible potential. Or at least, like, his, you know, when he did that thing against his old classmate, like... I kind of like how Karasuma got kind of intimidated by him right there. No, I've been getting kind of teases of that. I like it. What's Koro think about that while he's reading his pervy mag? There's a certain level to it. He definitely has to because it's his job and the betterment of the people, but he definitely does more than your average person, you know? So I always respect him for that. Who's this guy? Akira Takoka. Okay, episode 13, talent time. Another teacher. Ooh. Ooh. These look like the cakes you see in the mini games in like Mario Party, which I never feel like are real. I would love to eat something like this one day. Oh, he does have a crazy sweet tooth. I wonder if this is all a drawing to get him in so Akira can try. People with his personality that are too friendly are kind of suspicious, especially with like Arena, who was like friendly as well off rip. But then, you know, like I don't, I don't know if I trust him, especially because Karasuma didn't say anything, you know. He's the neighborhood dad, right? Oh, he's one of those abusive as hell dads. Who make sure you get your work done and oh he's a military brigade like elite. I mean I mean overworking is one thing, but as long as he doesn't get physically abusive on them, you know, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be Okay, okay, there's my answer right there. Oh my god. Yeah, he's one of those dads who gets drunk and come home and beats the mom, you know? Is this guy I'm flabbergasted that this is okay. This is actual child abuse. And the fact that he kind of hides it with this like fatherly persona is so much more abusive. Like I've seen so many abuse stories in media, you know, like, yeah, Koro, please actually hurt this man. Like, I'm cool with that. I mean, if it's legal, I oh, it's definitely not right, but I cannot believe that like falls within the bounds of education. Like corporal punishment's cool over there. I do not know that. They're willing to do whatever the fuck they need to. God damn. Mm. This is 
This is going to be the ultimate test on Karasuma versus like normally a test on the kids. This is going to be a test for Karasuma and how much he cares about the kids, actually. Because in terms of actual efficiency and getting the job done, protecting the earth, it's probably in the best interest for uh, Akira to keep to keep doing this. But I think he cares about the kids too much and I fuck with him for that. Thank the Lord. I fuck with him for that. Thank the Lord. Oh, is he going to choose Nagisa? Oh, hell no. Now I'm... I was... This guy is creepy beyond all shit. Yeah, do you know how traumatizing it is for a child to kill somebody? What are we talking about? I'll be honest, this show is like kind of like one of my happy, wholesome, fun time shows that I have on the schedule, like having... But this is kind of fucking dark. See, that's the actual question. Do we need... Do we not need his style when training assassins to save the world? Hmm. But still, you gotta think. Yeah, who are you thinking? I see Nagisa right there in the middle. Perfectly, come on. Oh, I love it. Me too, Nagisa, me too. I need to, I need you to develop it more so you can become an ultimate assassin. Shouts out, Nagisa. Exactly. Oh my god. I love how they gave a little foresight for that, like with the thing he felt with the whole snake sneaking up on you right around you. Oh, yeah, this is actually insanely scary, though, because he could beat the living shit out of Nagisa. Yeah, he literally just said, if you can touch him with the knife. <laughs> this is yeah, this is kind of fucked up for a kid either way. I'm hope I think Nagiso is gonna win based off the story, but I hope he doesn't get his ass whooped too much in doing so. That is not. That is so. Oh my god, that was a jump scare of all fucking jump scare. Startled, he lost his balance. Startled, I almost lost my fucking balance. And then he's just... I love how... I love how we're getting the visualizations from that, but he's also, like, narrating it. Like, fucking Sherlock Holmes, Robert Downey Jr. Discombobulated. Fucking... This, that, that was fucking scary. The way he just walked up with a smile. Fucking slithered behind. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that when he had the grenade. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. You got to start thinking about this question ethically. Like, this man is like Killua. He was born to be an assassin. Should we encourage this? That's a better question. <laughs> Normally, you pinch someone to slap the shit out of him. Yeah, when a man like him has had his pride insulted. Need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, didn't come across as any even close to warm. He's got the whole class backing him up and both teachers, all three of them. Ooh, fucking clean. Hmm. So very interesting that a one. What is he going to say about Akira's uh, teaching methods and saw the whole thing? Oh, I'm glad he thinks that. I fear is a must, but if you need to do it through violence. Oh, oh, Asano's kind of badass. The way those fucking centipedes are going in his mouth, like visually. I love how Asano was the one to deliver the, the final punch. The enemy of my enemy is my, uh, I don't know. He knows, you know what I'm trying to say with that. <laughs> uh, 
Kerosene was like, as someone in the biz, he does not know his latent potential. That is a tricky ethical question. You gotta hang out with us sometime. What is he just uh paying for something? <laughs> that is true. You kind of were a bystander. <laughs> you were there like mentally though, <laughs> right? And I love to hear that. I fuck I fuck with Karasuma as a teacher. Such a crazy concept. All this getting attached this much, all for the world to be blown up next year. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Koro, I tell you. All right, on to episode 14. This one is called Vision Time. Maybe we're gonna get some glasses. Oh, a heat wave. Ooh, I just, I'm, thankfully, I'm just ending the summer over here. Thank you. Where are we at? Ooh, a pond, river, spring. Ooh, ooh, a pool just for us. We're gonna have races and everything. It's all divvied up. All right. I also think if he wasn't blowing up the world, he'd be a dope teacher. You know, you can't have a you can't have an anime like this without a beach pool, something like that day. You know. <laughs> okay, relax. I have his name written down. Okajima, the perv. I have perv literally listed as his name. That's so funny. I know. Does Koro Sensei not like water? He doesn't know how to swim. His tentacles get swollen. Right? Kurosaka, you're not swimming? Okay, episode 14, vision time. Now I'm not thinking it has to do with glasses, maybe like a premonition or something. Don't be mad at your boy for getting a higher grades. Come on, that's good. Yeah, I mean, there always are gonna be friends who are like, get on you for trying to better yourself. Don't fuck with those friends, you know? And I have a feeling Terasaka is gonna switch. He's gonna, he's gonna be cool. Does he have the same voice actor for Toto? From JJK? Sounds very familiar. Ooh, that looks sweet. So, Koro Sensei has been kind of winning over multiple students. I mean, in terms of the ones that you wouldn't think he would win over, like Terasaka's crew. And Terasaka does not like that. Right. Right. <laughs> True. I wonder what's going on with Terasaka, because he seems like he has like the potential to be like a Bakugo, Kiba, kind of rough around the edges character that comes around, you know? That's why what? He's actually working with Mr. Shiro? I was just hyping you up, my guy! He's already back with Itona. Damn, he looks different. I'm glad you can confirm that. I, I also thought that, but I'm glad you can confirm that. Oh, the vision. No ambition. That's what vision time means. Dimly choose the grass before it. For the wolf with the cow and vision, Itona is speaking facts. I still think Terasaka has that potential, though. Even though I'm kind of butthurt, he's kind of betraying us right now. I think if anyone's gonna win him over, it's Koro. And yeah, why are you crying? Oh, interesting. Good to know. You know, as a teacher, Koro's always going to give, give them him the chance to assess. See, he wants everyone to participate in this, provides great teamwork, and he, need, he wants to 
he wants to help Terasaka through his personal issues. Everyone to kill and make up. Well, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. His pride was hurt by with what uh, Itona said. Ooh, that's a bar. He seemed confident in the plan, but not himself. Even his words sounded like they were too. Man, people are spitting too many bars this episode. I can't even joke. That's the real question right there. Oh, so it's just a signal to let Shiro and Itona come in. That is way more dangerous than... So they're going to force him into a position. Yup. Oh, you got played, Terasaka. This always happens. The people like Terasaka. Oh, and they are made to look like idiots. I kind of feel bad now. I kind of feel bad because he doesn't want this, though. That's why they made his nose run. It genuinely is a good plan. It's just super fucked up. Yeah, you kind of needed that one, Terasaka. <laughs> Again, they're spitting so many facts. Facts. They didn't get swept away, even though they literally did. You did. And then there's Itsuna just ready. Yeah, it's bigger than you. They're they're past that. They got bigger ambitions. They're just different breeds. Focus on studies, progressing, progression. Yeah, absolutely no effect. And that just lingering effect of the class E looming over you is so strong and making people actually work. But even even they're bettering themselves and having goals, ambitions, dreams, right? So he doesn't want to be left behind, but he refuses to move ahead with the others. So he's in a he's in a predicament. I get him, but I also am like, bro, you know. He doesn't mind being controlled just as long as he has some control over who's controlling him, you know? Ooh. They're that complicated. Oh, okay. This is Karma's plan. Itona versus Terasaka one on one. What a hero. Okay, he actually was able to tank one. Oh, and he focused all. Oh, with the spray in it and everything to make him allergic. Yep, with a cedar pollen, whatever it was. Yep. Karma is actually really smart. That is actually really smart. Meanwhile, we can save Hara from her situation. Get them as, as well. I love how we're doing this really good plan, though, on Koro's behalf. Saving him from this crazy situation. Theoretically, we should be helping Itona jumping Koro, but they don't want them to get the benefit. They don't want them to get all the all the money. They want to feel like they've done it, obviously. For one, and for two, he's our teacher. Oh, and you almost killed us. So fuck you guys. Look at his face. Oh my goodness. He's like, you guys got the best of me, but I will be back. Shouts out to Karma's plan. Generally, genuinely smart. I always say generally. Genuinely smart with uh, Arasaka and the shirt and all that. Yeah. <laughs> you said fat and heavy. I did say you can't say that. I did say that. Objectively analyzing the situation. Now we're going to have a... True. I think, yeah, I said he has the potential. I wouldn't say he's adjusted well yet. He still has a little bit to go, you know? I uh, am happy with his progress, though, to say the least. 
us as students. Has to be that, right? Damn. Overall, really good episodes. I'm liking the development. I love how they switch off between like a singular character focused somewhat episodes versus team uh like class entire episodes versus uh like teacher based episodes as well like we had that really great one with arena um but now we had a really great one with karasuma and whether he's invested in the class or he's invested in the goal for saving the earth and i really liked his contradiction not contradiction but his duality of how calm and gentle he is versus akira and how he literally put on a face of happiness but he was so much worse behind it which like that's the difference between putting on a facade and not putting on a facade like yes uh karasuma is more stoic and a little bit less emotional than akira but he is true in everything that he puts out versus akira who's obviously fake and all that and then we had a great episode focusing again on a singular student terasaka and how he wanted to get through life with people similar to him with no goal no ambition and there are people genuinely genuinely like that like uh, sh uh um how am i fucking blanking on his name shikamaru i don't know it's this late guys it's late at night here um but shikamaru he wanted to be just an average ninja marry an average girl have average students have average kids i mean and then you know retire and and die he wanted to just live an average life he didn't do that obviously shit got in the way and he became a fucking amazing person but uh there are people like that and so the fact that he the only reason it kind of got to him is because he just wanted friends to share that dreamlessness with him but even at e class class e the end class they were starting to better themselves have dreams have ambitions you know have passions about things so he you know he became slighted he became upset and he worked towards their demise for his own gain and he realizes where he went wrong in that and he's making some good character progression i'm thoroughly enjoying that so shouts out to karma for coming up with that plan but shouts out to some character progression from karasuma and Terasaka. I, I love it so far, and I'm hoping to keep seeing it. We're about halfway through season one, and then we got season two, and then I have no idea how this is going to end, but I am looking forward to it immensely. I don't know if there's going to be any more one-off teachers or if another... I'm Because don't get me wrong, I love our triple set of Koro, Karasuma, and Arena, but I would be down for kind of another teacher to kind of stick around, you know? But uh, I wonder how if we're going to get any other teachers at all. Oh, Principal Asano firing him as well was amazing. I love that he was the one who did it. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed these. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.